Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here aboard Scenic Jasper at the Travel Experts Conference here, and we're on the rivers of Belgium. And I'm here with uh, Caroline LeBay and Tony LeBay, and their agency, which is LeBay Travel in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and they're two of the top travel advisors for travel experts. We're going to get their take on this conference, as well as you know how they've gotten through the last 20 months and what the prospects look for travel ahead. And you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, first of all, guys, it's been great to be with you. We've had a lot of discussions the last few days, and I uh, got to know you a bit. And it's it's it sounds like you've got a great business. And uh, I, I did want to start out, you know, a little bit and get the history of your travel agency, if you could. Um, I started about nine years ago right. with actually someone that's all on this ship named Nancy Porthan in Jackson. And um, she kind of asked me to help her in her office, mm -hmm. and I never left. And two years after that, we joined Travel Experts and um, came on together on that. And we, then we split our, our ways, and kind of the rest is history now. Yeah, and then, of course, when did, Tony, when did you, you sign on to work with, with Caroline? I joined about uh, five years ago after we moved from Jackson Hole to Park City, and we split our time between Jackson Hole and Park City. And uh, I was running a restaurant there and realized that it was difficult to run from so far away and knowing that Caroline's business was growing and she needed help, that uh, I'm helping her now with organization and I'm now the air department within the two of us. So I, I heard take about this. You're the air specialist, right? Uh, yes, exactly. So I do can't travel without getting someplace generally by air and I take care of all the other logistics as well of the business. Yeah, so that's your role and your role in the agency is? Trip designing, talking to the clients, curating the clients, having, you know, loving, reading and reading and reading about all the newest and greatest places and trying to be places like this to make sure we have the right place to go for the next time. Absolutely. And uh, so, so you both have your sort of defined roles within the agency. And so that's helped you work together because it is, yeah, I'm sure it's a little hard to, as a husband and wife to work uh, occasionally on this stuff, right? It can be, yes. <laughs> You have different parts of the uh, house or, or your office that you squirrel away in? Correct. We both have our separate offices in the house, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way to do it. And you're working on the airport. Now, tell me a little bit about um, what your agency specializes in. We are, a lot of people ask us that question. And most of what we do is that we specialize in our clients. Mm -hmm. Our clients are high net worth individuals that want a different place all the time. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that their time is valued to make sure that all of their places that they want to go that's why we belong to travel to virtuoso because we don't have to have gone everywhere because it's almost impossible and by doing so we're able to really narrow in on a, on a very uh, not a lot not a long list of clients but to make sure that all of their needs are taken care of and tony has more of a role of having we have some uh clients that are on retainer right. and he does more of family management travel for a larger group of people and then when they need things that are more customized than the day-to-day -day business and moving around I do the trip planning for the safaris and and trips to Europe and things like that no that's great so you so you're a trip planner you're kind of logistics and you're getting the air done and so that worked great now what what in terms of, you mentioned travel experts and you, so when you joined initially you became part of travel experts uh, when nine years ago nine oh years no sorry seven, seven years excuse seven, me, years, seven ago. years ago and so what how how have they helped you air support <laughs> primarily um, air is quite complicated so there's a, never a dull moment and uh, you're always learning more so I always need the help from uh, the, the home office and, and the, the professionals there and they help they're there exactly. they and then of course they probably help you in other ways too with they the are awesome I mean there isn't a thing that we can't rely on them for we have a question Heather is always there and Claire is a wonderful support and it, it's it's it, it, it to have to have a team for us and that that was a big change for us mm -hmm. because they have our backs right. and they have our back I'll, I'll answer that they have our backs on on both sides of the business both with clients when there's uh, issues with clients and or issues with vendors they have our backs on both well, that's sides. a big thing right it exactly big thing, yeah. for sure yeah now now uh, in in terms of uh, obviously travel experts has helped you we've been through the pandemic now it's been 20 months plus how have you guys gotten through this 
Well, we, we were uh, fortunate enough to receive some uh, PPP money and also an SBA loan of which we're just now starting to be able to pay off, uh, begin payments on that. And travel experts were, they were very generous during that time, understanding with um, fees and they, they really helped us out with the logistics of our money and understanding and they really, they, they were all, pull, they were pulling no, for us. Like no. And it, it's clearly, it was something necessary. And now are you starting to see sales coming back? Yes. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I would say we were, we're not as, um, I don't think we've done as much as we did in, we were about to do for ni in 20, in 19, but we're almost there. We're about halfway, no, a little more than halfway than what we were, that we have um, booked out until 2021 and 22. And it's starting to ask. Like oh, into 23. Into 23. Yes. So you think 22 and 23 are gangbuster years? Absolutely, absolutely. I'd really do. Any segments that are looking really good for you? Oh, it's bucket list travel, which is so exciting. So yeah. um, the Arctic people are looking for. We have we're, we are actually going with uh, Lindblad in June with eight uh, freight cabins mm -hmm. that are coming with us, and I think people are wanting the bucket list places, places that haven't been discovered. I think they've everybody wants life is too short. Yeah, because yeah. now they haven't been away for 20 months, and they think this is the time when yeah. you re really can do this, right? Yeah. Yes, and South Africa and. Uh, much yeah, I was going to ask you about the destinations. Definitely uh, Southern Africa and, and other exotic places, Morocco and Egypt as well. Fabulous times to be getting to those places. Now, throughout all this, what's kind of the greatest lesson you've learned from the pandemic period and, and for your business? What are you taking away from this? Hey, everybody says there's a silver lining in everything, right? Well, there's not taken for granted, first of all, because things can change on a dime. Oh, there we go with the lights. And um, I think the, we were able to reorganize our business, so I think we'll be more productive in the future. And um, we have a different setup with all of our accounting and, again, with the help of travel experts helping us get that figured out. But the silver lining, I don't know yet. No yet? <laughs> Tony, Tony, what about you? What do you I'm not sure about the silver lining necessarily, but definitely uh, getting reorganized uh, with our accountant, getting all the LLCs properly uh, in place that perhaps weren't uh, as, buttoned up. as buttoned up to get as much uh, monies available for us for unemployments and those sorts of things. So uh, we could have gotten maybe a little bit more. So now we're organized if it ever happens again. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, and I hope it doesn't. Uh, exactly. And then spending time on our website and marketing uh, during the, the off, uh, off time. Well, yeah, you told me some interesting things about how you market, too, because that, that was interesting about you, you've done some excellent net, networking sites and things like that. Exactly. Uh, working networking and then having our social media uh, done by someone else because we don't have time. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. We'll talk to you. Professionally. And professionally. And professionally. No. Well, listen, it's been great to meet you guys on board. Scenic Jasper here on this great conference. It was wonderful to spend some time with you and hear about your travel agency. It sounds like, you know, you're ready to go for 22-23, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. sure. Absolutely. Anything else you want to say to our 92,000 travel advisors about your experience and, and w what you've learned and what they might want to think about? I think that you just dream big and dream big with, the, with, with your travel. I mean, that's, I think that's what people call us for now. Yeah. What is possible? So the and bucket list stuff. The bucket everything. list stuff and things that are unexplored, which is, you know, we didn't really have that as much before. Yeah. Anything else? Working hard. <laughs> it's really what it comes down to. It's all day, every day sometimes. <laughs> even, even, even when you're not getting that income right right now. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's been sure. the frustrating part. I believe me, we know, we know that for our business as well. So, again, great to see you. Great to have some dinners with you over the time. And um, please look these guys up. They've got a great little business going on. And they've, they've gotten through, and they're looking ahead. So it's really a lesson to be learned. And I'm James Schillinglaw from Insider Travel Report.